Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, the first games of Generation 9, are releasing at the end of this year. And that means it's very, very, very likely that Pokemon Journeys will be ending around that time too, so that a new Pokemon anime series can begin, more focused on these brand new games. But the future of the anime right now is possibly the most unpredictable it has ever been. Ash Ketchum is on the road to defeat Leon, the strongest Pokemon trainer of all time, and that has some fans thinking that Pokemon Journeys will be Ash's final series. And then what about Go too? He's the co-protagonist right now, sharing the limelight with Ash. Will the anime drop Go's character at the end of Pokemon Journeys too? Truthfully, all we have at this point is speculation, but I think I have some great ideas for the future of Ash, Go, and the anime in general as we begin the next series of the anime. But before we get into it, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. It would be a dream to hit 50,000 subscribers this month, and I can't do it without you guys. Also be sure to smash the thumbs up button too, and comment below your thoughts about the future of Ash, Go, Chloe, and the anime in general. So, where do we begin? It seems really likely to me that Ash Ketchum will either win the battle against Leon, or he'll draw against Leon. Generation 8 is now ending, so Leon as Ash's main goal really needs to end too. And Ash losing against Leon in the World Coronation series wouldn't really have that effect, because our boy would just want to do the World Coronation series again, to battle Leon again. And if a new series is starting, I just can't imagine the World Coronation series being Ash Ketchum's main story again, because each series tries to be super unique. So for that reason, Ash Ketchum cannot lose against Leon, if you ask me. But if I'm right, and Ash does beat Leon or draw against Leon, then what's next for him? How could the next series possibly have a grander story for Ash than Pokemon Journeys did? And my answer to that is that I don't think it will. Not in the way that everyone expects, anyway. I think defeating Leon will be Ash's biggest goal, and the next series won't really outdo that in terms of how grand the scope of the goal is. I personally think that Ash Ketchum's path in the next series won't be as huge or grand or massive as the World Coronation series was. I think it's gonna be on a much smaller scale and much more personal to Ash Ketchum. If Ash wins the World Coronation series and becomes the World Monarch, then he's gonna be famous worldwide as the strongest known Pokemon trainer in the entire world. Everyone will look up to him. And that is why I think Ash Ketchum will continue in the Generation 9 anime, but as a mentor figure. And more specifically than just being a mentor figure, I'm confident that Ash Ketchum is going to become a teacher in the new region introduced in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We know almost nothing about the new games, but something that really stands out to me is that both of the main protagonists of the games are wearing clothes that resemble school uniforms. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm certain that Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet will feature a school as a main element or setting of the game. Maybe we go to a trainer's school in the game a bunch of times in the plot. Or maybe that school is where we start the game, graduating from school before we can go on our Pokemon journey throughout the region. Either way, based on the protagonist's clothes, I'm sure that a school will be a massive part of the games. And I think this is going to be similar in the anime too. So I believe that after Ash Ketchum becomes the world champion, he'll be approached by this school in the brand new region, and they'll ask him to help teach the new generation of Pokemon trainers at their school. Ash Ketchum had great experiences with schooling in Alola, and we know just how incredible he is at teaching, mentoring, and inspiring people with less experience than him. Think about Mei, Max, Dawn, Serena, Bonnie, Lily, Go. Ash Ketchum, in one way or another, did an amazing job at guiding and inspiring them. So when this school in the new region approaches him and asks him to be part of teaching a bunch of brand new Pokemon trainers, 
he will absolutely jump at the opportunity. Not only will he get to inspire and teach more Pokemon trainers, but he'll also get to go and live in a brand new region that he's never been to before. And we all know how excited Ash Ketchum gets about exploring new regions. So being able to teach new Pokemon trainers in a new region sounds absolutely perfectly in line with Ash's character. When Ash Ketchum reaches the very top, a lot of fans wonder how he could possibly look even higher. What's above being the World Monarch? What's above being at the top? And maybe there is something higher, but I personally don't think that Ash Ketchum will be looking upwards. I think he'll be looking downwards, straight at the people who are looking up to him. He'll use his position and all of his experiences to teach those who dream of being where he is. With Ash being the teacher of a class of brand new Pokemon trainers at the trainer school in this new region, it is the perfect opportunity to include characters from Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet in the class that he teaches. Maybe the male and female protagonists of the games will be in the class, and they can be main characters in the anime too. Ashy Boy will still be a main character, but he won't be the whole focus. We'll get a split focus between Ash as a teacher and his students as brand new Pokemon trainers. Some episodes can focus on Ash guiding and teaching the class of students. Other episodes can focus on just the students without featuring Ash. And other episodes can focus on just Ash, exploring the region with his Pokemon and having fun there when he's not teaching. In that way, we can keep Ash in the anime in a huge role despite him not being the only main character. And seeing Ashy Boy, the world monarch, from the eyes of brand new students, seeing the way that they admire him and look up to him, that is the kind of story that Ash Ketchum deserves. He deserves to show how far he's come, how much he's learned, all the things he's been through by teaching the new generation of Pokemon trainers. I think all of Ash Ketchum's experiences and development is leading him down this mentor path. And I wholeheartedly believe this will be Ash Ketchum's role in the next anime series. Teaching new trainers like the protagonists of Violet and Scarlet and maybe their rivals or their friends from the games while enjoying his time in a brand new region. I don't want to big myself up, but I've fallen in love with this idea. And I really, really, really hope that on this occasion, I'm right. Because Ashy Boy deserves to be loved and admired in the same way that we love and admire him. And being a teacher will do just that. And as for Go, that's a tricky one. Go is based on Pokemon Go. And that game is still going strong. Sorry. But yeah, Pokemon Go is still hugely popular, and Go's dream of catching every Pokemon could easily be extended into the next series too. Maybe Go could be a student in the class, or a teaching assistant, or a researcher at the school, or maybe he'll just be living in the new region and meeting up with Ash all the time. Or maybe he just won't be in it at all. I'm honestly not certain about Go. I guess time will tell. And one last thing to add. If Ash doesn't catch a Fue Coco, then I will be gutted. It suits him so perfectly, and I want to see him have another bitey boy to join Totodile and Gibble in the Chomper Crew. If Ash is going to get a starter Pokemon, then I really do hope it'll be Fue Coco. I personally think it's a much better fit for Ash than Quaxley or Sprigatito are. So, those were my thoughts on Ash Ketchum's role in the next series of the Pokemon anime. I think he'll be a teacher in the new region, teaching a bunch of brand new Pokemon trainers and living his best life now that he's reached the top. To me, this is the best future for Ash Ketchum. It is completely in line with his character and development. It'll get him closer to being a Pokemon master and the focus will be split perfectly between Ash and this new generation of Pokemon trainers from Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet. Let me know what you think about my ideas in the comments below, and of course let me know what you think Ash Ketchum's future will be in the anime. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe too if you enjoyed, it genuinely helps me out so much. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.